Hey guys, Ivan here and today we are starting with some New York Pro updates and first off we have Justin Rodriguez and his most recent physique update and as I told you before, every time he posts a new update he looks better and better. And this is the most muscular shot, which is probably not his best shot ever, but he does look pretty damn good in this one right here because his chest is getting really separated. The veins on those biceps are popping, the shoulders are also very separated and the legs right here you can see 2020 new york pro and you can see justin here surrounded by ian valier on the left and also on the right hassan mustafa and you can compare the size of these guys legs and you can see that justin doesn't have great legs the outer sweep it's very weak it's very weak i mean it's not horrible the legs are i guess fine but they are not exactly amazing not like his back is, or his glutes. The entire pose from behind looks like he's the winner of this show, a clear winner. No, you would never guess that Ian actually won this show, he doesn't look nowhere near as good as Justin, but he did beat him though in the majority of the poses, but this was very controversial win for Ian, and uh, he received a lot of backlash from the fans, he was very emotional about it, but that's not the topic of this video. Here you can see that Justin looks absolutely amazing from behind, from the front, not really that good because of the quads and also because of his stomach, his midsection not the best midsection ever. Anyways, uh, here's a photo of himself before he started prepping for his 2020 shows and uh, here you can see his legs and then you can compare them to what they look right now. Yeah, this photo is closer to the show than the previous one but it doesn't matter for this one I'm trying to, to show you here for the point I'm trying to prove, it's, it's irrelevant because take a look at the outer sweep I mean just look at the sheer size of it he gained, he gained some muscle in that outer part of the, of the quadriceps. He most certainly did and that will translate on stage. And as I told you before, every time he posts a new update, he looks better and better and better, especially in the final weeks. So let's wait and see what's gonna happen in three weeks from now. I'm expecting he's gonna look much better than right here. And as the time goes on and he posts new updates, I have more and more faith that this top 10 Mr. Olympia finisher has a good chance of actually winning that show. Next, we have a really cool shot of Nick Walker at 3 weeks out of New York Pro. This is a professional photo shoot, of course, and the lighting here, I mean the shadow actually, it's just really flattering, of course, he won't really look like this on stage, he'll get leaner, yeah, but this, this lighting is just, yeah, for photo shoots. It's definitely made to make him look even bigger and more impressive, so of course, he looks much better than Justin Rodriguez, but it's not really comparable. But you can see a lot on this photo. You can see that this guy is getting really lean. Like, he's he's right there. He's on the spot. Three weeks out, that's what he should look like. So he's almost done. I think in a week, that'll be it. He'll just have to cruise into the show, do whichever protocol he's doing. You know, whatever works for him to peak the best, to be dehydrated and full and everything. And here is his back shot, and it does look pretty damn impressive, I mean, he has a good back actually, this guy has everything pretty much, except for perfect waist from the front, but from the back, the waist looks tiny, right? It looks really small, it's a great wee taper from the back, and you can see that the separation, actually you can see the lines and the, 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 the definition on his glutes through the shorts, through the freaking shorts. So that tells you how lean, how hard, how, how muscular this guy actually is at this point because you can see glute separation through the shorts, through the shorts guys. I mean I, I've seen separation, glute separation through tights but through shorts, this is a first if you ask me, I don't know about you. But yeah, he got really lean, he got really big as well, he gained about 10 pounds, 10 pounds from his last show from that Chicago board 2020, 10 pounds of solid muscle, so that's gonna be an impressive package and also very very hard to beat by Justin, Hassan or whoever. In one of my previous videos I showed you this video of Hassan and I thought this was recent, but it actually wasn't. It actually turned out to be a little bit older video that he decided to post right now for whatever reason, maybe to confuse us, the fans or the opponents, but then he posted another video of himself posing in Dragon Slayer Gym saying that this was about a month ago, and if this is a month ago, which is 7 weeks out of a show, then that's great, that's great, that's great conditioning for 7 weeks out. But is it really though, I mean I'm not saying he's lying, but did his conditioning improve over those 4, four weeks or a month? 
because this I mean, this cannot be a mount hold video again. Why would he pause this if this was a mount hold? Hey, maybe he's actually trying to confuse his competition and I would love that to be the case. But I would hate it if this was recent because I don't think he looks ripped. For three weeks out, he should be way more conditioned. He should be looking like Nick Walker. I don't think he's that lean. So, uh, Hassan Mustafa is an enigma that we cannot figure out. <laughs> what is his conditioning right now? How well will he do at the New York Pro? Will he be conditioned? And if he is conditioned, is he gonna win against Nick Walker, who is actually better? I guess we are left to see, because this guy is probably just trying to confuse us. <laughs> or he is doing that unconsciously and not intentionally. Whatever happens to be the case, I can definitely see why so many people have him winning this show. But is it gonna be him, or Justin, or Nick, or Blessing of Oribu? The thing with Blessing is we don't know. So we had situation with like Kevin Leveroni come back, and many people actually had him winning the show, but he ended up being last. And then there is a situation with Hunter Labrada, who is having a pro debut going against some uh, top pros, winning, winning his pro debut. So you cannot really know what's gonna happen with David Blessing, you can make your assumption, you can make your a bet, but from what I can see right here, his back is pretty good. I mean, this is a pretty good back. Is it as good as uh, Nick's? I have to see it on stage. I don't think it's that good, but it's getting pretty lean, right? I mean, look, you can see you can see the separation in the lats, and uh, the shape. The shape is just phenomenal. The lats could be a little bit lower inserted, but they do definitely make him uh, look more athletic the way they are. Here you can see how thick his back is. It's a pretty thick back. He has a lot of muscle on it. So I guess we can expect anything from Blessing of Oribu at the New York Pro 2021. And now that we are done with the New York Pro updates, well, actually, are we? Because, I don't know, I'm including Kai Green right now. Maybe he jumps in the New York Pro because he does look like it. <laughs> he definitely does look like he's getting ready for something. He definitely did not look this good last year at this time. He definitely did make a lot of progress. He's dieting, obviously, he's on, on gear, obviously, he's pushing things for sure. He definitely does look much, much better these past few months than he looked years before. And maybe he looks just as good as he looked back when he retired in 2016. Now, this is not going to be only a Kai Green uh, update, physique update uh, part of the video. It's also going to be this uh, new beef that he has with Nick's strength and power. But before we get to that, let's take a look at Kai's biceps right here. I mean, he made this slow motion, it wasn't me. And uh, his biceps are looking freaking insane. Not just the biceps, but the conditioning, right? He looks like he's getting ready for a show. I know people will attack me for saying this, but I think it's much, much safer right now to say that he actually might come back. I don't think he ever looked this good before. I mean, in the past few years. He has been posting a lot of videos, a lot of updates, a lot of photos. No, he did not look like this. He definitely made a lot of progress. I mean, look at the biceps here. Look at the separation. He does look pretty impressive, right? It looks even freakier from this angle. So I would have him in, the, in that top 6 in the Mr. Olympia, potentially even winning the show, if he actually decides to come back. I don't think he lost it. I don't think he did. He looks pretty freaking insane right here. But now let's get to this Kai Green Nick strength and power beef. So Kai Green was talking to Louis Marco, so he asked him in the comment section, Louis, are you still blocked from Philip? <laughs> Meaning Phil Heat, of course. Let me know, I'ma try to get you unblocked. I just need a place to talk to Phil in comment section. Nick's strength and power is just too whack for me. He ain't about it, man. Too corporate and just robotic. Not fun. I mean, he doesn't have Arabic kitties like you. Says a lot. So Kai Green is basically saying that Nick is too corporate and too robotic and not fun. And me personally, I just cannot disagree with that. I'm not saying that Nick's channel is bad, of course it's not. I learned a lot from him. Of course, Louis Marco is the one who started this type of videos, so he is the one to give credit to the most, but I did learn a lot from Nick. But one of the reasons why I started my channel originally was because I also thought that Nick was just too robotic, not fun, has no personality, and too corporate. Those are the criticisms that Nick will receive from not just me, but many other people, and that's the reason why I started my own channel, because I wanted to... Uh, basically create a channel that is kind of like his, but to have those traits that he doesn't have. You know, being more fun, being less robotic, being less corporate, saying whatever I think, not just what is politically correct. So I definitely must agree with Kai Green right here, although I gotta admit that Nick 
is definitely having an insane success and I can definitely learn a lot from him as I did. So, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Tell me what you think about this Kai Green versus Nick Strength and Power beef or whatever is on your mind as far as the New York Pro. Who's gonna win that show? Who's gonna place where? Whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more videos like this. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.